everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm going to have my cup of tea and pull some cards now. For this message, I'm going to be channeling the Divine Feminine messages. I've got some quite feminine cards in front of me, but please remember that ultimately the masculine and feminine are ultimately one. So, whatever your your person is going through, rem remember it's in you too. And <clears throat> just take whatever resonates for you. Okay, we can begin the reading straight away. <clears throat> there are many things I have to offer you, my eternal husband. I offer you my heart and soul and access to me anytime. As your wife, I will be your comfort and support. Together we'll, we'll create a sanctuary within our home that will be filled with our love, laughter and passion. Together we are strong and can face any challenges together. <clears throat> my beloved Divine Masculine, the things that I have to offer you cannot be listed here. They really are countless. Of course you are the only one who has my love who will ever have my love so many others had wanted my love and never got it but really it wasn't my love they were after they too were after their twin flames perhaps they saw a bit of their person in me pretty much everyone does this at some point But when we do make a home together and start living our life purpose together and living one life, living together as one for the rest of eternity, that's the purpose of Twin Flame Union, to live one's life purpose, to share our God-given gifts with the rest of the world, whatever, whatever they are, creative endeavours, just loving all living beings, whatever, whatever it is, so that everybody can have the happiness that we are moving into. Compromise. Well, this is the only relationship where we won't have to compromise. And we will never be asked to give up any part of ourselves. This is the relationship where we can fully come into who we truly are. With, in ourselves and with each other. So really there is no compromise. There's no misalignments in union. There may be, there may be things that require navigating that come up that appear to be disagreements and misalignments, but they're not. If anything like, or anything of that nature comes up, that's just a sign that it's time to go deeper. And then, when we do go deeper, that's when we find that there was no misalignment, just a miscommunication. So that's what we're going to be navigating, that's what we're going to be ironing out as we go deeper and deeper into our union and deeper and deeper into our life purpose. Love is all around you. I feel it in my fingers, I feel it in my toes. Yeah, the divine is everywhere, in all things and in all people, in all objects, in all living beings. Because remember that everything's energy. We're led to believe that we live in a world of objects, but the truth is we live in a world of energy. And the highest frequency of energy is love. So everything is divine. As all matter is just energy condensed to a slow vibration. Really see the true nature of all things. Really see the true nature of everything is love. Because love is all there is. Only love is real. And love never fails. My divine partner and I are worthy of divine love. There you go. We are unique, strong, compassionate, gifted, 
and a channel for spirit. So now is a time for really, really uh, coming into a full understanding and integration of our worthiness of this divine love. Because it's one thing understanding something conceptually, but it's quite another thing arriving there emotionally. It's time to go deeper in this area. Really appreciate our uniqueness, our true nature, our divinity. The, the way we are with each other, the way we fit together in every way, the way we are with each other and who we are to each other. And who we are in ourselves. This is all areas where we're deepening our understanding. Whoops. Oh, doesn't want to do it. I embrace divine love through sacred, sacred sensuality. I tenderly and intimately love my partner through divine love making, uniting the two as one. So if we're not able to be there with each other as yet, I will take this opportunity to fully love myself in all ways, including, <clears throat> including physically. And to connect with my divinity, to connect with divine love and to connect with you. Because it's all going to come to light. That every time we romanced ourselves on our own, we were always doing this together, all along. My divine masculine, I feel like... The most blessed woman on earth to be your soul wife. I will gladly accept your offer to become your bride and unite with you again. I don't want us to miss out on any of the plans you have made for our life together. I trust you completely and I am ready to see a whole new world with you. Yeah, it hits different when you know that you are your love's eternal spouse. And to cement that, make it official on earth, that's going to be the next step. But we don't need to be bound to each other in that way because we're bound by nature anyway. We said our vows a long ass time ago. The answer is no. Well, it isn't. The answer is not no to marriage because I already know that I'm going to say yes. But this may be a reference to many parts of me where I'm still believing that you're separate from me, that you're someone else over there, which is not the case. You are me, I am you, we are one being. There's no separation. So I choose to release the illusion of separation right now and turn on my heart light. So the more unhappy illusions and beliefs of separation that I do choose to release and continue choosing to release, the more I'm able to turn on my heart light or the more you're able to <clears throat> see my heart light. And the more clear, the more pure my heart light will shine to illuminate your consciousness. And that is what's going to guide you home. I deep down truly, absolutely love myself. I admire and respect myself. I find myself deep within my soul and I trust myself. Because as I continue doing this, I inspire you to do the same because if you've had your own journey of moving through and releasing feelings of unworthiness you really must understand that you too are 
whole and complete in yourself and you are worthy of love and respect. And so as I move deeper into loving myself, I know that you'll be doing the same. I take a deep breath and surrender to the present moment. I am calm, still and content in the now. Because the now is all, we, is all we have. You don't, you can't go around thinking, I'll be happy when I have this. I'll be happy when this, hap this happens. Because that's an illusion. Thinking about the future in that way is just a trap to keep us unhappy. So, just be happy in the now. Because if I'm unhappy now, then I'll be unhappy with you. In fact, it will be amplified. But the happier I am at this particular moment in time, the happier I will be. And the more our happiness will be amplified when we come together in harmonious union. <clears throat> what a fabulous opportunity we have. Fabulous opportunity to com complete these bits of our uh, the, uh, these complete these bits of healing that we're moving through at the moment, to really come into who we are, to really release all the heavy stuff, all the difficult stuff before harmonious union. So when we do come into union, it will be. Natural, smooth, easy and effortless. Choose for it to be those things. Okay, everybody, I think that feels complete. I really hope you enjoyed this message and I hope you have a brilliant rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.